Okay, this video is a follow-up about uh, me replacing the uh, front strut of my 2013 Dodge Ram 1500 4x4. Now, this is not a recreation that because the video just ahead of this was the actual one, but because I was so busy, I just uh, didn't stop to make a video in the, in the middle of it. So what I had made, and this it worked out fabulous because at the time of the other video I had not actually got the part successfully off, is I took an 18, turn it over this way, an 18 millimeter socket and impact, which is the correct one for the top of the strut nut. Now the other thing is the top hex up here is listed as eight millimeter but because uh, it had lost a little bit of meat due to oxidization so when I put the eight millimeter on it worked for a while and then it, it started getting tough so I ended up refiling it to 932 so now as we know I'm not putting it all in there so you can't see it this is the top mounting bracket so, the 8 millimeter nut, or, or socket I should say, quarter drive falls nicely through. Now the reason it is, is because I bored this out in my lathe with a half inch drill bit. And if I didn't have a small hobby lathe, it was 6 inch mifer to be exact, and a very good uh, steel drills this was as tough as miserable as it comes so this this was on top and in the video you actually seen me uh, hauling and heaving on it and now this adapter is the quarter drive and as you can see that fits very nicely on top so I worked it off like any of the other tools, forward, back, forward, back, penetrating oil, and then eventually I got it off. Now, the other way I also got the hex on top is I put this up against a nut, and let me just get a, a, a I'll just get a regular nut actually, which is not even the correct size. Now let's see if I can get a smaller nut. Okay, this, just, this, this happens to be an imperial nut, but what I did is I put the nut up against it, which was a metric nut, and I ran a through bolt through it, and then I just followed the pattern with a, a flat file until I ended up making 24 millimeter, which worked out quite nicely. So if I had not had this, I would not have been able to get this apart. I probably would have had to drill the side of the nut and try to split it with a chisel. But because I made this tool ahead of time, it worked out very well. Now I would say if anyone wants to make a tool like that, which is half inch bore straight down the middle, don't try to drill it because this was a, uh, well in Canada here, it was a, a pro point tool. Um, from Princess Auto, 18 millimeter, half inch square drive, which is still intact. My 24 millimeter hex is intact, and my 18 millimeter hex is still there. So this 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 survived the job. Now the nut, yeah, that's done. We all know that, and the, str the strut is also done. But I would say to do to do another one if you were there doing one, don't try to drill it out because you won't have drills good enough quality and it took me a long time to drill this very precision hole I would say just use a die grinder and uh, rough open the body large enough to do it and let me just put a tape measure down here and I'll show you the uh, it's not working well uh, okay so the uh, eight millimeter works out about just under half an inch 
and then the one that I ended up using for the imperial size was I don't know, I presume that's going to come out. That was a 932. The reason I went to 932 out of 8 millimeters because 7 millimeter I would have had to file too much off and 932 I managed just to true up the top of the hex and it worked good. Anyways, that's it. Anyways, as always, yeah, that's me. I've just I've just finished it. Now I just got to clean up this big mess. Okay, talk to you later.